Hello, my Taurus friends. Guy and Halo here. I hope you're all doing well. Money, finance, and career reading or whatever comes up. Mid-September. Money, finance, and career reading mid-September. Now, everything's retrograde. There's going to be time for rethinking, redoing, re reprocessing. And perhaps there's time that's needed to actually do this for you. I don't know if you guys are full steam ahead or if you're on pause. Looks like it's full steam ahead for you. An exciting new opportunity, career advancement, change your life now. And we have the Page of Cups. So a new person enters your life. You could be coming across a new workmate, a new opportunity, career, career advancement. There could be something where that's concerned as well. Um... It's definitely an opportunity that's going to make you happy and it's communication that's going to bless your soul. So how is it that all of this is coming to play together around you in September? Intuitive, sensitive, artistic, and friendly. A relationship begins a new phase. Heightened psychic abilities. Ace of Wands. We have... Ooh, someone could be having a very passionate, fun time, let's just say. We have uh, root chakra energy combined with, uh, I want to say, I feel as though it's more solar plexus energy. So manifesting something here of passion. It's very passionate, perhaps you can't even understand that this new connection or feeling that you have with, it could be a kindred partnership, someone you meet at work. It could be someone in your world. We have Capricorn. Uh, so I feel as though in this uh, coming together, you could meet them at a, Oh gosh, it could be a business working networking event or whatever it is. Look at that. And the Ace of Wands again. A lot of passion. A lot of fire. A lot of hot, steamy root chakra energy coming in here. <laughs> My Taurus friends. Well, go get them, Tiger. I feel like something's being awakened within you that's been dormant for quite some time. Perhaps there's been some sort of tie to something where where it's not been previously going the way you want it, and perhaps now it's really stepping up. Well, someone's bringing all that they got to the table. Really, very passionate. This is new career opportunities. I think you're concerned if it's something you've done before, that you could be toxically tied to this same cycle that keeps coming around and coming around. But we have the Ace of Wands twice here, so you could be getting multiple offers. Oh, you're concerned about how it looks, I feel. There's something about how something looks or whatever. How will it look? How, what will other people think, perhaps? This is someone hopping on their trusty seed, deciding that they're going to commit into a new environment of awakening and passion and... Uh, what you do for a soul partnership type thing, what you do in work, what your soul purpose is. I feel like you're ready. You're hopping on your trusty steed to bring in this, this new you, really. It's like grabbing a new version of yourself. You've been through the gamut, and now you're taking all that you are, all your emotion, all your passion, heading forward into this new adventure. A new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase. Heightened psychic abilities. And I feel that this new person is, it's kind of like a, it's very well needed at the time that it's needed. Now, this could be a Virgo coming in loud and proud here. Or this person could seem very, it's like you can't peg them. Maybe they've got cold feet about moving in a direction that you want to move in. Uh, a relationship begins a new phase. So you could be, someone could be going inward to decide whether to take a relationship to the next level of, of partnership. So how do we do that with, just for all you tarot readers out there, when you get these kinds of cards, how do you do it for money, finance, and career? Okay. Toxically tied to the past. 
a past sole purpose, a past job, a past something. A new opportunity comes in due to a kindred partnership. It could be a significant other or it could be just a friend. It could be whatever. Take kindred partnership as you want. As you're doing that, then another opportunity comes in. I think you feel like this one's really going to help you move forward with your emotion. So I think that's the one you want to go down. And not to mention, it could very well bring you the financial stability that you want. So there's one that you see more value in than the other. You might want to go into hermit mode about it and think about which way you want to go. It's like you're at the top of a pinnacle and you're asking the divine for clarity. Now that you've gotten to a certain point, you've become very wise with what this is that you're doing. It's time to move forward. I feel as though there's a gift of money coming your way. This is like a new start. Uh, good news about money coming your way. Possibly some through a Virgo. or This could be something about family legacy. This could be something about your parents. This could be something that comes into you as a gift that you weren't expecting. Something big that can take you for upwards of a 10 year span. Like, let's see. Um, given your own division at work or in a circumstance or your money has leveled up or you found something that you can really work on and you feel like you can sink into it really really firmly for the next 10 years and grow some roots with it it's not just a passing thing so there's a victory where money is coming in here a victory to your financial future something that you can really build a solid foundation on or can you <laughs> it's almost like this is what I feel it's gonna be a victory it's gonna be awesome it's like a time of joy after hard work after sorrow a time of excitement but then your mind creeps in and says is it it's like you are in it to win it that's how much you believe in this you're in it to win it absolutely it doesn't matter anymore what anyone thinks. I'm going to do what I want, and that's the way it's going to be. Something's going to move forward very soon. Something that's been difficult for you, I feel, is going to move forward very soon. And it could be in the idea of a house, buying a house. So work, these opportunities come in, or perhaps there's more than one or two opportunities in buying a house. There's one or two more opportunities in job. There's one or two more opportunities in investment. There's one or, you see what I'm saying? On and on it goes. And it could be that in a relationship with a soulmate or a kindred spirit coming together, perhaps the combining of these things ends up increasing your money flow. Uh, it is absolutely going to be a victory, although I, I feel like you think someone is immature at times. I really do. <laughs> I think you, you almost find it enduring, but at the same time, there's this energy crowning the reading. I feel as though bossing up is the way to go. That's what you need to head towards. Like You guys do that anyway. You boss up all the time. I wonder if someone's dealing with this, a new long-term commitment, like I said, the past 10 years within a career, having a happy celebration surrounding, this is boss, judge, CEO, uh, person who has control over the roof under which you live, the money that you make, or it's the final decision on yes or no. And you could be dealing with a female lawyer in some sort of circumstance, trying to get rid of the toxicity in your life that's been there, I'd say, for quite some time. And you're heading into a new 10-year cycle, which is beautiful. It's about time for you guys, hey? Angelic advice, please. In Ace of Wands on the left-hand side. New passionate opportunity, Ace of Wands. You are a light worker. God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon all the earth and all of its inhabitants. So they're asking you to, I feel like someone's getting a new opportunity. It's like either stepping up your game or starting a new light working path. Perhaps it's adding to it. Adding to a light working journey you've already been on, perhaps. You have to take it as it resonates because leave me comments down below so I know what's up with you guys. Tell me about the right hand side, angelic advice. Ten of pentacles. We have a ten year process we have victory we have the hermit going inward asking the divine for clarity about what to do yeah like i said 
Keep charging ahead. Don't take no for an answer. Expect, expect miraculous solutions to appear. Someone could have had a father figure that crossed over. Uh, could be a mother as well, but as somebody who was very much in control of the family. I bring you a message from your deceased loved one. I'm happy at peace. I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. A lot of times this card comes out when someone has committed suicide or or died in a tragic way and you wonder if your your family's soul is okay that they're all right with things well this is sure sure proof that they are creation remember your thoughts shape your future your words create today and your choices become your reality on the bottom of the deck we have dignity take pride in yourself and all that you have become feel honored by your choices achievements and actions Beautiful. Let's get a postcard from Spirit, shall we? Postcard from Spirit for my Taurus friends. Dear you, uncertainty is the new normal for the whole world. Things are changing at a rapid pace and the old ways we once trusted are no longer reliable. But leaving the familiar behind can be a good thing when you are pushed to step into the unknown. You are pulled forward into discovering new possibilities that have been hidden in plain sight. Check in with your higher power. Your soul knows better than your small self. Have faith in the support of the higher power and the infinite potential for your life. Right now, the advice we have for you is this. Try something new. Do something different. You won't know how it feels, what it looks like, or what the outcome will be if you do not take the first step into the unknown and experience the unfamiliarity. You'll be so glad you did because the treasure will appear. We're so proud of you for being brave. You are so loved and so supported. I love you guys. Blessings to you.